Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. My name is Plami and in this episode of Cartoon Reactions I'm gonna be continuing my reactions to the Transformers Armada series. Currently we are on episodes 35 Rescue and 36 Mars. We're actually almost at the end of the series. I think we have about 17 more episodes to go so we're like two-thirds of the way in and for your information, if you didn't know already, the next series that I'm going to be reacting to is going to be most likely Full Metal Alchemist, the 2003 series. Uh, as long as it doesn't get blocked or claimed when I upload my first reaction to it, that's going to be the next series. But anyway, uh, for the episodes of this series that I'm going to be reacting to in this video, I have seen both of these episodes and I'm definitely interested in re-watching at least one of these, the first one, Rescue. Uh, they were together with the last two episodes on the same DVD discs and it's I think the second to last disc that I ever bought, the other ones I think I got from a friend if I remember correctly. But yeah, it was a while ago so I don't really remember that much. But yeah, I am excited, so I guess without further ado, let's just jump into it, starting off with episode 35, Rescue, in 3, 2, 1. Okay, so in this case, uh, I was talking about this episode many times before, because I was wondering uh, why would they need Starscream, what would they need Starscream for, because they knew where the Decepticons base is already, so apparently they needed him to get through let's say a firewall or defenses and security systems. That makes sense. I hope you don't mind. I brought along my new friend. Hell yeah! Yes! Hell yeah! You can't be serious! Oh, he is! Now it's our turn to destroy your base. Not imposing on you, Demolisher. How did you all get here? You must. You don't have to tell me twice. Hold on, Starscream. I want you to hold back with Perceptor and release all the Minicons held captive here. You know the layout, and that's why we need you to carry out this mission for us. Right. He obviously just joined the good guys just so he can fight Megatron. But I really want him to be a good guy. Stand down, Starscream. Understand? This is not what I ordered you to do. No! And don't try to stop me, Optimus! Well, enough idle chit chat. I have a traitor to obliterate! Adios, Autobot! The shield! Good one, smoke screen. Where'd he go? <laughs> My apologies, gentlemen, but Megatron had more urgent matters to attend to. Now, how can I help you? Boy, what a show off! So, who died and put Mr. Conehead in charge? <laughs> I love Cyclonus, Stop he's such a jokester. Cyclonus. Enough talk! Get it up! I think he's one of my favorite Decepticons. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. I can't see Perceptor anywhere. Go after him. Understand? Oh shit! Your journey ends here. No one passes Tidal Wave. Now I shall crush you. Smart. Very impressive. Okay, uh, what the... I'm so annoyed by his weird size change constantly. Sometimes he's gonna be as big as Megatron, sometimes he's gonna be a fucking giant. Pick a size, goddammit. Guys! Guys, quick! Check out the monitor! 
When did they capture so many minicons? And Megatron is using them as slaves to build a spaceship. Wouldn't that be better than using them for fighting? Because this kind of thing is what they were made for, as far as I understand. Oh my god, it's so obvious how they have like five designs and they just recolor them again and again and again. And maybe switch it up here and there. Total all you like, you tiny titanium toy, but you're not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. <laughs> I knew it. Make them stop, or I'll destroy every last one of you. <clears throat> no, they've chosen to fight you, Megatron. What? How dare you defy my orders? Every one of you get back to work immediately. Understand now. One for all and all for one. Don't you get it? Come on guys, run! Run while you can! Probably shouldn't help out the enemy. Thank you. Tidal wave appreciates. Ouch. That must have hard. And his new body on top of everything. He's saying form a line and file out of here one at a time. This amuses me. Sayonara, My ignorance Autobots. amuses me. Get that reference? Hell yeah! Star Stream! I always knew you'd be a traitor! And now I can fight evil! You moron! Oh, he says he wants you to fight evil? I love is. that! Action. I love him in, in the moments in which he genuinely is a, is a good guy. I just wish he'd stuck. Because remember there was like in one episode in which he was questioning uh, why the hell are they fighting? I love that. I love that. Like that scene is kind of like a foreshadowing for this, what he's doing here. What's happening here with Starscream. Time is running out for your decision, Starscream. Choose. Will it be your heart or your programming? Autobot or Decepticon? <laughs> So he chose. There is no right decision. What do you mean? There clearly is. Take your time, Starscream. There clearly is. You obviously should be a good guy. You even questioned it yourself like 10 episodes ago. In that really cool Decepticon focused episode. And I love that they kind of uh, foreshadowed it in that episode. And like, he, I feel like Starscream, like it ha he has it in his characters to question things, so it pisses me off that he's not more of a, he doesn't question it even more, because he has done it once, and now he has switch sides, why is it so hard for him to do this, I don't get that. But yeah, I would say this was a decent episode, I, for some reason it's not as good as I remember, not like the last two. And especially the sacrifice episode in which a smoke screen got hurt. That one was even better than I remembered it. But this one, like, 
all the exciting moments of it uh, that I enjoyed as a kid, I enjoyed again, but it didn't really surpass my expectations for it really. So yeah, it's about as good as I remember it. And I like the idea of them going to the base and taking all the miniguns and everything. But I would say the most interesting part of this episode is actually, for me now, is actually uh, Starscream and all the things revolving around him about switching sides and whether he wants to be a Decepticon or a Autobot. And I think I ultimately remember what he chose, but we'll see by the end. I think considering what's gonna happen in the, not the next episode, but in the second episode of the next reaction video, he will switch sides to the bad guys, I think. I don't know. But yeah, I I, I, I do want him to be good though. He, he has it in him to be good. I think he ultimately has a good heart and has questioned it before why does he fight for the Decepticons. So he should be good. But yeah, I think for this episode, I'm going to give it a 7.9 out of 10. There are some exciting moments with Starscream and I... And some of the moments surrounding the escaping of the minicons are pretty cool but it it's not as it's either as good or worse than i remember it being so yeah there's that i guess so yeah i guess let's get into the next episode that being uh 36 mars and i remember that i watched this episode but even as a kid i didn't really enjoy that much so i don't remember exactly what it is going to be about other than the fact that it's going to be uh, about a minicon on Mars. That's the only thing I know about it. So without further ado, let's get into it in three, two, one. Is Starscream walking up on the other wrong side of the bed again? And he's really angry. What the hell? Chill out, Starscream. I know your name is about screaming, but chill What's out. Problem? What a pitiful command. Sideways. I know you're there. <laughs> That's definitely sideways. You're too foolish to realize that the Requiem Blaster's power is no more than a tiny blip compared to the power that's available in this universe. Yeah, you keep saying that with each weapon. First it was the sword, the mightiest weapon, the shield, then the blaster now. What is now going to be the most powerful thing? Think about it. The three powers complete one another. You can't go into outer space. For starters, neither of us can even fly. But we can't abandon Well, Jetfire and Starscream can. Sometimes you just gotta go. I gotta go! Scavenger's right, you guys. The only ones that can make the trip to Mars right now are Jetfire and Starscream. Yeah, I can handle this on my own. Outer space, no probs. All I have to do is find the Minicon before the Deceptive Dummies, right? Mm. Mm. Wait, but why would you need to fly? You can teleport. Wait a minute. There you are, little one. Off you go. Find that minicon as quickly as you can. Oh, I thought that was the minicon. That is that's just Jetfire's minicon. It's a pretty cool looking minicon though. It's funny how uh Jetfire is a space shuttle while the little thing is like a the thing that uh, the scientists used to look around Mars. We haven't got any more data for you. I don't remember the words for that. Just behead him. I swear, Starscream has the best screams in this series. Uh, I wonder what's going on with Jetfire. I sure hope he's okay. Well, I hope Starscream's not doing anything stupid either. Huh? I mean, <laughs> I mm -hmm. hope he's doing okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think you're doing to me? I'm busting you for the crime of disobeying orders. Sorry. You can't be serious. Get these off me now! I disagree with that crime, Jetfire. Like I said, you're busted. I'll decide everything you do from this point on. It's for your own good and you know it. You'll pay for this. I placed Starscream under arrest and I'm bringing him in from Mars immediately. And the Minicon? It'll have to wait. What? Hold on a sec! Save your breath. I see him! Who? Megatron? No, the Minicon! What? 
Over there! On that asteroid! Why is it on the asteroid if it was said to be on Mars? You're going to rescue him, aren't you? Let me tell you my personal motto. Huh? Victory is mine! <laughs> and night! Uh, God damn it, Jetfire. He's so scared! I'm fire! Huh? I said fire! We Autobots will protect you! Hell yeah! Decepticons will use you as a tool for war! Trust me! Talking Starscream, that's the way! Don't be coming to What did he say? Save yourself! Shoot him down! Fire! Fire! Hell yeah! Oh yes, I love this! Now I will finish him up for good. No chance. We have to turn. Come on, you just learned how to be a, an Autobot. I will fight him. No way. We're leaving. This is it. The three powers. Huh? What's going on? What is this? And now the moment we've all been waiting for. <laughs> Wait, what is happening? In Starscream? Who? Starscream? Uh, I don't know anyone by that name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, for a second there, I was worried, actually, genuinely. Megatron, come in. Megatron, where are you? Megatron! He's sleeping. Where am I? What just happened? The tidal wave has arrived. I'm sorry, sir. That huge explosion of energy blasted us. Starscream? Yes, what is it? I hear you convinced the Minicon to join the Autobots. I know you like the Minicons, which is why, in my opinion, you belong on the Autobot side. I agree with Alexis. My mission is to bring Megatron down. That's it. Okay, this was actually a better episode than I remembered, and... Yeah, for some reason I just don't ever remember the second half of it. Now that I've watched it, I guess I do. But I only ever remember them getting to Mars and I don't remember all the events after that, like the handcuffs and uh, the Minicom saving itself because of uh, Starscream. But now that I've seen it, definitely seems familiar, like all these events. So yeah, I've definitely seen it. But yeah, it's better than I remember it actually. Uh, now that I've seen it. For some reason, I guess the ones that I remember more fondly and I'm more hyped about being super enjoyable end up not always being that good. But the ones that I don't really remember or the new episodes somehow manage to be better. I think of all, the of all the episodes that I've seen so far, there have been like two episodes that lived up to the hype uh, I had for them. Those being the scavenger introduction episode, I think it was. And the recent episode with Smokescreen getting almost killed by the Requiem Blaster. But yeah, it was pretty enjoyable. I love that it was Starscream, the one who said all these things about the Minicon protecting itself and joining the Autobots because the Autobots will protect them. That's so cool, but it pisses me off because I know what's gonna happen in the next few episodes. And him saying that, it's like just loses all its weight. I don't know. It's so annoying, but yeah, I'll we'll, we'll talk about it more when we get to that episode, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, leave a like and subscribe. Oh, wait. Um. Uh, I think I'm gonna give this set... I think I'm gonna give this episode an 8.4 out of 10. Because, as I said, it's more enjoyable than I remember, actually, and had a decent amount of uh, development for Starscream, I guess, because that's kind of what this episode was about, ultimately. And I enjoyed it, actually, quite a lot. Starscream is one of the more interesting characters in this series, so I'm glad we got an episode that kind of revolved around him, I guess. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, leave a like, subscribe, also check out the links in the description to my Twitter if you want to follow me there, and to my Wattpad, where I post my stories, because in addition to doing all these videos on my channel, I'm also a writer. And additionally, I also have a blog on which I review TV shows, movies, 
uh, video games, anime, cartoons, anything like that that you can think of. And uh, uh, if you're interested in, in any of those, at some point soon I'm gonna be uh, doing a review of the first season of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We'll see when. I just don't have the time to write really, if I gotta be honest, but I'll do my best to do it as soon. So far I've done one review of Charmed, the TV series, so if you're interested go over there and check it out. And if you end up enjoying the blog, you end up enjoying my stories, or simply enjoy my videos, you can head over to Patreon where you can pledge your support and help keep the channel going, it helps support me so I can keep doing all the content you enjoy from me. And additionally, I just want to mention that all the money you decide to support me with are gonna go towards my transition fund, because if you're new to the channel or just haven't noticed at this point, I'm actually trans, but I am yet to start my transition properly. I'm hoping to do so in the next few months, because I will be moving out in a month, Actually, it's less than, than a month at this point and I will be able to start my transition properly So if you could help me out monetarily with that, that would be greatly appreciated But if you don't want to do it, uh, that's completely fine I don't want to guilt trip into helping me out You can help me out in other ways like liking this video, subscribing and especially sharing this video with someone who you think might enjoy it And I think it's pretty much it for this video, so hopefully I'm gonna see you in the next one Bye! Come on and get your game.